Okay, everybody, I'm pretty stoked. Look where we are. Renew Med Spa in Wyndham, New Hampshire. Yep, let's go. We're getting ready for that vampire facelift. I promise you, we're on air. Come on, let's go. Let's see what this is all about. Alright, so I'm going to just move you around a little bit. Good. Turn a little bit. I just want natural light. We're going to use a combination, you know, filler and also your platelet rich plasma. So we're going to do the blood draw for that. Um, I'm probably going to do some work around your lips okay. you know, on those lines too. Mm -hmm. So if you have any history of cold sores, we'll give you medication for that. Don't. Just for fill. No. Okay. I'm just worry about that. Was yesterday. Um, so this is going to be fun. We're going to start at the top. We're going to work our way down. Oh, what? Woo! <laughs> Not that far down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over. Let's show you the metro room right. where the magic happens. Let's do it. Okay, easy okay. for you. Difficult for you. Blood draws. Right. No, they're fine. No problem. Yeah. I'm just going to sneak over to this side. <laughs> My neck. Femoral stick. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Relax back. Chill. See, Jean, you get to see this before you have yours done. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're popping out. See? see? No problem there. <laughs> they want you. They know what's coming. Good veins. All right, I'm going to get the nails. I've right, got a so picture of your a shirt, too. Leaving your dreams. I'm sorry. <laughs> so why does why does it why is it too? There's no vacutainer. Just so when you get the blood drawn in, usually you hook it to the thing and it sucks the blood out. This one doesn't. You actually have to hold. This one's got to hold the needle in place, and the other one's got to pull okay. the blood. About six, 60 mLs. Ten of it's anticoag, so 50 mLs. It's not a lot. Wow. But yeah. Okay. Go Smoothly and quickly, they say. <laughs> That's a pretty sink. So many people that are just waiting and dying to yeah, see this, this like. and watch it and just watch my transformation. You better be ready, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I do work six days a week, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm very excited because it, it's taken me, you know, as we start aging, you start looking at all of your, your um, opportunities and yeah. your choices. And I've been really, uh, I think that I've been more scared because of the unknown. And I've never found anyone that I trusted. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I do. I, I just, I adore you. So let's do this. Have you read about uh, the platelet-rich plasma? What's involved with yes. that? Okay. Yes. You know, we're going to take the blood. We're going to mm -hmm. process it. We're going to do two spins, actually. We're going to get rid of the red cells. We're going to get rid of the white cells. We're basically getting down to just a concentrated solution of your platelets, which is what holds most of your growth factors. Wow. So then what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to step out and get the product now. I'm just kind of studying you as I'm talking, trying to decide I know which, you. how I'm much like... of what I'm going to use. You know, a vampire facelift is basically a form of a filler injection, right? But we're injecting not only dermal filler. Also get what she's doing. Yeah, we're <laughs> injecting not only dermal filler, but also the platelet plasma. So when you leave here, you will look puffy, okay, from... <laughs> You know, from the water. It's not going to stay that volume. You know, it won't be crazy. It'll be perfectly comfortable. There'll be no pain. But 
you'll see that the water from the platelet-rich plasma is going to redistribute and go away, and then you're left with just the filler, the growth factor, and then you watch all that sort of you know, evolve over the course of a few weeks. Wow. So a lot of people ask me, like, right after the first procedure, which I'm sure you're going to yeah. tell me what I can do, what I can't do, right. but they want to know what they can't do. Right away, people want to know, what is it that I'm going to be limited to? So what is that? Well, we're, you know, we're going to be doing injections today. Um, we're also going to be doing some Dysport, which is a brand of botulinum toxin because we want to relax this muscle here. So usually after any form of Dysport, you're not supposed to exercise for four hours. Um, and you're not supposed to rub the area or be bending over a lot. So basically, your activity is really only limited for four hours. Oh, good. Okay. After that, you just wash your face normally, you know. Makeup applied. Makeup applied, no problem. Okay, so it's only for four hours. Right. So stay up. Right. Stay up. All right. So now, make up after four hours? Yes. Yeah. The small holes that I'll be making with the needle are going to be closed up way before then, so we don't worry about makeup afterwards. I do want to talk, though, about above your lip. You do have some lines there, um, and I want to, you know, undermine them and get some stuff mm -hmm. in there, um, but that means tomorrow morning that's going to be pretty swollen. That might make the morning moxie call sort of interesting. Oh, God, let's do it. <laughs> I am so, am I not transparent? I mean, yeah, it's just, you know, you need to understand that the swelling that occurs around the lip is just the next morning primarily. I mean, a little bit when I deal with it, but the next morning it tends to look a little comical. Okay. And then within a few hours it goes down, and then it looks beautiful, and it gets keeps looking better. Uh, right. I just want you to be aware when you wake up tomorrow. So how big are we talking? Are we talking like it, fish? Like, it, it, it. Could look bigger than what you're comfortable with. Oh, that's going to be a funny moxy call. Right, right, that's what I was thinking. I mean, okay. I want to do it because you need it, but I want you to be aware then of that. That's what we're doing. You know, oh, that's well, it's temporary, and everybody's going to watch. You do know I'm speaking tomorrow night. That'll be okay. Actually. That'll be good. Oh, yeah. okay, good. Night, so on it? stage, I'll be good for yes. tomorrow night. Yeah, by tomorrow night, fine, fine. It's just yeah. when you first wake up in the morning, you can be like, whoa, wow, I'm so excited. Yeah. All right, let me go I get some products. can't wait for who's going to wake up next to me. <laughs> huh. We're all having fun. We, you know we actually always do have fun. Do you know where I took the before we picture? Can you see if my phone is on there? Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, you need to come in close for this one. This is like craziness. There is some anticoagulant in it, so... It's, What's anticoagulant? It's not, it's mm. going to keep the blood from clotting until we do what we don't, do. Don't, don't, don't. So it, it's no, not, don't hold this. It's not quite as don't much as it, as it looks. I'm not that. drawing quite as much as it looks. Get in here. Thank God I'm looking at beautiful faces. <laughs> Thank you. Uh huh. Mm. Can you see this? Not too well, but come here. Well, I, 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 can, little, I got the arm. Right, ready? Oh, I got the arm. Oh, you're good. You're a good vampire. Thank you, I am. <gasps> Ooh, I like That's you. It. No? Okay. Just a little needle goes in and everything wow. comes out. Look at my blood. Yeah. She's got beautiful red blood. I have beautiful red blood. <laughs> Can she follow you to the next procedure of this? Sorry. She, this? The spinning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right in here. Oh, it's right in here. <gasps> you do it right through the machines right there. You get to see the whole thing. That's a lot of blood. Spinless well, it, blood. it's because, you know, instead of like a couple of vacuum containers, it's one big, mm -hmm. and you, we have to draw Do I out. get this back? I'm going to give you some water and you're going to make it back. All right, good. I'm like, holy, get <laughs> with honey. What? That's a lot. <laughs> wow, sure. <laughs> it looks like more than it really is. I bet. It's actually like... All right. We've already said that. She's not, yeah. believing, she's not believing She's not believing us. it. No. I've never seen anything taken from me so much. <laughs> On a voluntary basis, I guess. Wow. Hmm. Mama. Mama? Cheekbones, I never had them, but I do now. Lisa gave them to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice cheekbones. Yeah, I didn't have them. Your skin is gorgeous. Thank you. 
Usually when people say that, Lisa says thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not letting her have credit for this that is because some of that's my own. Just this is not a Yeah. Thing. Okay. So this will go through for a minute and a half. So it spins right and in that everywhere. container. Huh? Yep, right into the centerpiece. Oh. It's a beautiful okay. thing. We measure it. Thank you. I take pride in my veins. <laughs> I feel bad I didn't wax. Oh, I wouldn't like that. When can I wax? Oh. Not for um, not for probably a week to two. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What do we okay. do? I'm just gonna get over here. Okay. Well, you're gonna have to heal, so putting hot wax and ripping it off is definitely so not an option plug? right now. Um you should, but not right away. I would I would not do anything for like a week. Oh god, why didn't I wax? Why wasn't that on the priority list yesterday? Yeah, I wouldn't do anything right now. Hmm. Well, well set. Good. Okay. I'm gonna get you. Is this your coffee? It is. Now, what's in I'm that one? This water. is just water. This I is just the balance. Oh. oh. Okay. So you weigh out the exact yep. amount of water that there was blood. Yep. Okay. And then this will spin for a minute and a half. Okay. Well, what did I do with that? I found. Uh. Do you know? That's what probably in my pocketbook. I think you gave it to me. Oh well. That would help. That Do you want sense. your phone? Hmm? I can go get it. Or they can bring my whole pocket in. Where's your pocket? In the other room. Oh. Okay, so this is the spinner machine. This is on the So is it spinning right now? Not yet. You'll hear it. It gets loud. Oh, okay. It's in there, and looks like it's turned on high speed. Let's see what's happening with this blood. So it went through one spin now, and it looks like fruit punch. Fruit punch. It looks like fruit punch. You see the timer going on your video? Yes. This is the spinner machine. How is Chris? Good. And she weighs out the exact yeah. amount of water as fruit punch How or blood. How often do you do the vampire face? <laughs> uh, most people will do it once a year. Yeah. You could do it twice a year. Right. Um, but. You know, the, the key is probably in between that time, you might touch up the filler portion. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to do the PRP every time you do filler. Right. You know, it's nice to do that once a year anyway. And then after that, during the course of the year, if you feel like your filler, you know, some of it dissolves away, you could just put back the filler mm -hmm. that dissolves. So. Okay. What other questions would be asked that I'm not asking by your clients? That I'm not thinking of, you know, so for the viewers, because there's somebody yeah. sitting out there saying, why doesn't she ask this question? What's, <laughs> what's the normal question? So the most common questions are, why why use the plate rich plasma? Okay. okay, so the plate rich plasma does more than add temporary volume. Mm -hmm. By placing the growth factors at multiple levels, deep levels, superficial levels, we can get some collagen stimulation going on. Mm -hmm. So that can actually extend the duration of your correction. Um, it also tends to help the skin look brighter, mm. you know, and, and it helps the fine lines and wrinkles, which you can't get all of those with the filler alone. Okay. Um, Safety-wise, this is very safe. I mean, the, the filler is obviously mm -hmm. sterile. The platelet-rich plasma is your own blood products, right? So right. nothing there. Um, the majority of the work I'll be doing with the filler and the plasma, I'll be putting it in with what's called a micro cannula. So there are two different filler techniques. There's straight needle. And then there's micro cannula. The micro, micro cannula looks like a long needle, but it doesn't have a sharp tip. Hmm. So it tends not to cut through the vessels. It mm. tends to just push them out of the way. So that generally results in less bruising. Um, I can also get more collagen stimulation going. Oh, wow. Because I can move that cannula around and stimulate collagen as I'm in there. Uh huh. So, but you don't, you don't feel much. I'm going to create some numb spots on your face. We'll go through that. You know, okay. I'll, I'll, it's a little soon right now, but I'm going to create them. And that's the entry point for the cannula, so you actually don't feel much. Mm. You feel a little pinchy here or there, a little bit of like a pressure sensation, but there's no, this isn't about pain. Right. 
it's it, most people's apprehension is what am I going to look like right after? You know, mm -hmm. that's like the yeah, you know, that's uh, so puffy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Puffy but even 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 four hours from now, a lot of that will sure. The water is going to redistribute. Very interesting. Okay. It's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's it's making loud noise now. You're taking one. You're taking one for the team. For the team. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's a big, it's big. Huh. But I also know a few of your clients, and I have been admiring. How they look and they're beautiful and you know stunning. I don't want to say the name in case they don't want to know yes. us, you know, but just radiant and fresh, not mannequin, right? And that's what's attracting me so much to you. That's not a look in the Northeast that tends to fly. No yeah. one really wants to look overdone. No one wants right. like overstuffed, overpumped. I mean, yeah. there are areas in the country where that's more acceptable, yeah. but generally not here. I very rarely. Right. Have people come in requesting mm. an overcorrection. Right. Your mid spa is wonderful. It's, it's, yeah, it's very relaxing. I have done a lot of requests for Kylie Jenner's lips. I Plus. bet you have. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that just blew that's, up. That's I mean, the, that's the question. Like, how many syringes would it take for me to have Kylie Jenner's lips? Right. Like, gee. It's <laughs> that it, yeah, she does have yeah. those. Remember that when she went, everyone's like, did she have lipstick on? And then she went, no, lipstick. And yeah. That blew up the internet. Yeah. 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 Another common question is what's the difference between the vampire face lift and the vampire facial? Yes, what is okay. the difference? So, again, the lift is about volume mm -hmm. primarily. Although, like I said, I have techniques where I can stimulate some surface collagen, but that's the icing for me. The biggest goal of the lift is ab loss volume and smooth. Mm -hmm. The vampire facial uses a procedure called microneedling. So that's doing a collagen induction, collagen stimulation mm -hmm. all over the face with the microneedling and dripping the PRP on the outside so that it goes into the channels you've created oh, wow. with the needling okay. device. That doesn't bump and it doesn't lift. Mm -hmm. It's more surface smoothing. So you can use that, you can, you can use some of that too, you know, for pores and right. things like that and for you know surface texture. Some of that will get better based on what I do today, but there's that other level of procedure where you're focusing less on volume and more on smoothness. Mm. Well, I remember you being on my show, and I'm assuming that we're talking about the vampire facials, and I was pretty excited about that. And you clearly looked at me and said, oh, no, 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 no. They're getting a facelift. Well, they get, you're getting a vampire facelift, so a lift. So I was like, wow. Well, that's good. Yeah. 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 A lot of people like the, the whole concept of using their own gold factors, you know. Well, that's the other thing that's very natural. intriguing to me, yeah. you know? And all of these um, syringes of filler are hyaluronic acid based. So hyaluronic acid is in our bodies. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's everywhere. It's in our skin. Right. Um, now, does your, do those have to be uh, refrigerated, freezer? Nope. No, nope. most filler does not. These are all restaurant products. So um, they're not refrigerated. Huh. And I'm assuming... Because you, when you look at them, you said cheek, and yeah. they're all for different areas. Huh? They're not the same. Right. The different fillers, even within one brand, like the rest of one brand, the different fillers have different consistencies. Mm -hmm. um, some are thicker, better for lifting. Others are much thinner and smoother and looser, so they're good for the lips. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't want to put a stiffer filler in the lips, and at the same time, you wouldn't try to lift the cheeks with a very soft filler. Mm -hmm. So I have a combination over there of regular Restylane, Restylane Lift, mm -hmm. the, the cheeks, and Restylane Silk, which I use a lot of fine lines and lips, especially. Mm -hmm. This is exciting. Yeah. Lisa, this will be a, a new you for 2017. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good. So, all right, I'm going to map out a few things here while we're waiting. And do a lot of people that do the facelift, vampire facelift, also do the uh, facial, yes. or they choose yeah, between common. the two? No, it's very common, actually, to do both. And uh, which one do people generally do first? If they need volume, the lift. Okay. All right, this is just a... Sure. 
just helps me stay even. There's your new profession, G. Yeah. Very exciting. You could come closer. <laughs> it's actually the she angle. is talking <laughs> to. Can we take it? Oh, no, here's one I'm taking. Oh, you can say a word. <laughs> Are you married? Do you have a significant other? We have one more person observing this procedure behind the scenes. But he's not talking. Yeah, he's at behind all. the scenes. But I gotta tell you, he should be a he's a movie star. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> all right. Okay. Tiny itty bitty needle. Okay. This is lidocaine. All right. I'm gonna numb up those spots. Okay. That I marked. You may want to get close. What um what's uncomfortable is the sting of the lidocaine. The needle you barely oh. can so the lidocaine stings right now. Yeah, the needle seems so it's like so thin super, I can super, hardly see it. Super tiny. But from these points I can with the cannula get all over the mm -hmm. face. Kind of a mean one. Alright, take a break. That was the worst, huh? That one was it's not so bad. I think I'm more of a baby. <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody. Doing great. Mm -hmm. Three left. Ooh. It wasn't that bad. No. It, it's just, you know, when you know that there's something that's poking you, mm -hmm. it's Where's just human. Yeah, it's this? just human nature. Yeah. But I yeah. do start feeling it numbing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I feel like I'm in the dentist office now. Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like. So mm -hmm. it's not, 
anything that um, that feels different, panicky, or anything of that nature. Mm. Matter of fact, it's kind of relaxing. Mm. This will help your stress bunny. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Lisa. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> right. You never have to grow up. You could always be childlike. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, so this is all of the plasma. I'm going to draw off what we don't need. So that's what happened after the fruit punch after got the spun. Second spin. Yep, the cells, the platelets, are all stuck to the bottom right now. So you said they were stuck to the bottom, yeah. but then you're sucking them up into... Nope, nope. Oh, you're, you're still discarding. Stuck this is mostly water. Okay, that's what you're going to be rid of. Yeah. And this is what you're yeah. going to use. That's all cells at the bottom. Oops, hold on. Okay. 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 Now, yeah. Now, it looks a little yeah. red at the bottom yeah. of there's that. A, there's a few red cells there. It's not bad. Okay. A few of them make it through, but the vast okay. majority of the red cells are there. Okay. So there's a couple red cells, but mostly... Yeah. Mostly plasma. Platelets. Platelets. What's it? So I'm resuspending the cells in what I left behind. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. We're ready to rock. We're ready to rock. You get to that position. Am I supposed to do anything? No. <laughs> Squeeze the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. That's adorable. Probably could have used that before the needle, though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. That would have taken your mind off of things. Yeah. And what's that that you're... This is chlorhexidine. It's surgical soap to make sure that there's no bacteria in the area where I'm going to be going in. Okay. With my hands. Just in case I rest my hands somewhere else. She also does... Vampire breast lifts. Really? Huh. Mm -hmm. I like my tatas, though, I must say. <laughs> They're natural and cute. The invisible guess <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lift to start. And your vocal points, your graphics that you've chosen on your walls are fantastic. Thank you. Did you come up with that? Mm -hmm. Really brilliant. You know, there are companies that you can send them any phrase you want and they'll turn it into one of those. Mm -hmm. That's mostly what I did was I took phrases that I liked, like that one, and just mm -hmm. you know, you I love them, it. You have them create the wall, yes. the wall sticker, whatever they call it. Uh, stencil? Yeah, full stencil. You can pick the font, you know, the mm -hmm. color and all that stuff. I just wiped everything down. 
All right, my dear. Now I'm going to kind of get into the blue gloves are coming on. Blue gloves are coming on, and I'm going to get into my zone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's watching you. <laughs> Alright. Mission one. Cheeks. Sound good? Mm -hmm. okay. Can I talk or no? Yeah. Just not when I'm working around your mouth. Okay. You should be numb here. Sound good? Are you in? Mm -hmm. Making my uh, entry point. We call it a pilot hole. I feel nothing, guys. That's amazing you asked if she was in, because she was definitely in there. That's <laughs> one of those spots that I numbed up prior. Alright, so as I get in there, I feel the pressure. Mostly pressure, it shouldn't be anything sharp. And as I get to the cheek, it's going to feel a little creepy. Sound good? Yeah. Just creepy. You may feel a little bit initially as the filler comes in. So, how are you doing? Good. You might hear the filler. That's not you. That's the filler going through a very, very tiny hole in the canyon. So sometimes it makes a squirting noise. Turn towards me a little bit. Filler part. I hear him. <laughs> What are you doing now? Like molding it? Molding it, it yes. Wow. Oh, look, does it look good? Turn mm. towards me. Nice. Getting yeah, that. I'm sure you can see it. Mmm. Wow. So there's a real technique to inserting that. Yeah. Sometimes You're kind of pulsing it in there? Yeah, a little pressure. Get it in a different angle here. The key with filler in addition to just a lot of experience, you have to know what plane is used by feel. Hmm. Hmm. Because if you're not in the right space of it, Hmm. Hmm. So that's why people go to doctors. Because I was mm -hmm. researching some of this type of work, mm -hmm. and well, I guess I was researching laser hair removal. And in Massachusetts, you don't have to be a doctor mm -hmm. to do that type of thing. And in New Hampshire, you do. There's different regulations. Yeah. Yeah. Single, oh, yeah. single wavelength laser in Massachusetts, at least. Currently, you don't have to be a physician or even a nurse. Mm. Other, yeah. Sorry, the other common injectors are nurse injectors. That's it's pretty common to have an RN injector. Okay. The other thing we spoke about on the on the show is you don't go for this kind of stuff on Groupon. No. I think that was so valuable, such a a powerful message that when you're looking to do any kind of a procedure. You know, you're not going to play in a gym. You're not going to go watch a, a, a show. You're not going out to dinner. This is mm -hmm. serious, guys. Mm -hmm. So no group hunting, okay? Mm -hmm. Come and see Dr. Lisa. She's absolutely gentle. I have no idea what I look like. You do. And I'm very comfortable. I'm not, I have any anxiety. It's a very peaceful setting. I see the needles coming at me. And I'm not even scared of them, which is awesome because 
It is nice, because who likes needles, you know? Sure. So most of the nerve endings are really in the mm -hmm. more surface skin, so mm -hmm. I can move around in this level. And it's really not uncomfortable. Yeah. Huh. Pressure, if anything. Quite an artist. I can hear the crackling. Yeah, that's just a mechanical. You voice. know what it's like? It's like if there was that wax in your ear and you put like a hot like oil to break up the wax. It's kind of that crackling noise if anyone's ever had ear infection as well. So we can always add more volume, you know, at a later time, but we're going to be doing a fair amount of volume today, so. Boxing one is going to be interesting tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Huh. All right, so just going to get some of that from here. <clears throat> Same spot before that little hole decides to complete. Oops, close up. You've seen this procedure done several times. He will not talk. <laughs> <laughs> he won't even laugh out loud. How long have you been doing this technique? Probably a couple of years. I guess I only started like in the 2012, 2010. Plate liver plasma has been used in tons of other ways sure. before that, you know, for wound healing and orthopedics and all that jazz. But Facial aesthetics is newer. All right, so pretty much same as before, though. You might be a little numb now because there is lidocaine in the filler. So what I always tell people with the cheeks is if you like them better when you're swollen, that just means you're looking for more volume. So you saw the volume in this cheek before the PRP, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it's going to go back down to. But right mm -hmm. now with the PRP, I'm going to be opening up. Although you might like that, you might be like, oh. <laughs> And the nice thing about this cannula is it's sorry, I have to remake the whole it's flexible, so when it comes across a blood vessel, a nerve, whatever, it pushes it out of the way. <laughs> rather than slicing through it the way a straight needle would. Hmm. Right, I'm going to do some PRP out here. Little 
okay, that's my Motown. Yeah. Yeah. Feel mostly pressure. Um. Yeah. Okay. Nothing of discomfort. The other reason why I've really chosen uh, Dr. Lisa to do this procedure to me is because she is a medical doctor. And I learned about her and she's very passionate about helping people and that's why she became a doctor in the first place, due to the insurance and all that other stuff that gets in the way of allowing doctors to do what they're passionate about. Well, they discourage them to remaining doctors, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of frustration. Mm -hmm. So she found something else that she was extremely passionate about, which is this. And I have to tell you, I, I, I'm very grateful that I found Dr. Lisa. is definitely an advanced you know, injection. This is not something you'd want done by someone who mm -hmm. just no started call. out. <laughs> you don't want to go to one of those islands where you can get it done cheaper or something. You always you know, know, people talking is, about going on a... There's a lot less regulation mm -hmm. you know, in other countries. And, mm -hmm. um, you don't know how the product's been stored. How I feel like I'm a piece of clay. You are. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch sides here. Crazy, huh? Very crazy. Awesome crazy. Awesome crazy? Yeah. 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 Isn't that a nice cheek? Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> Is that a nice cheek? <laughs> it's beautiful. Like we got one half done, the other half not done. And it's and it's pretty pretty awesome. Absolutely. It would suck if she said I eh? <laughs> Yeah, it would. myself don't say oops they don't want to hear oops oh, no. <laughs> yeah that or would just, be just bad a little thing like oops where's my hole mm. like no 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 oops in here <laughs> yeah no oops <laughs> I don't know how to describe it to be honest with you. It's now do people get headaches? No. From this? Mm -hmm. I heard Botox was sometimes used to help migraines. Yeah, yeah any form of neurotoxin if you put it. That sounds weird. <laughs> Again, it's a pretty thick filler. Not that it won't feel natural, but it's mm -hmm. thick and it's going through a very small hole. Sure. And it's going into a soft space, mm -hmm. so you can hear that.
usually people that worry that if they touch their face, they're going to move it. Mm -hmm. and get, uh, you really have to be pressing very hard soon after the injection mm -hmm. to really, and if anything, you would just flatten it. Mm -hmm. You're not going to move it from yeah, right, yeah. right. I guess that's a that's a question people would have is right. can I sleep? Yeah. You can sleep on your side, you can sleep on your back of course. I usually like people to avoid face plant in the pillow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that many belly sleepers, but once in a while I get one. But hmm. the fillers are especially the ones that come on the cheek. To them because the lift which we're using right now um, has a very high G prime, which is a physics property. Mm -hmm. And basically, what that means is it has a very strong tendency to bounce back into whatever mm -hmm. shape you created, even if you distort it. Mm -hmm. so. so, is this something that people that should be concerned with, like? How, when you're talking about distortion, mm -hmm. flattening, mm -hmm. don't be a. And how long do people have to worry about that? I mean, is this something like in a week? No. That if I put no. my, if no. I rest my, no. No, my no, face no. on my no, hands, you, you really don't need to change your behavior. Just right after, I usually won't have. You should be numb here. We doing okay? Mm -hmm. Feel it or no? Yeah, a little. Okay. How long is it, like, I want to say completely set? Like, that you can't change it or squish it or flatten it? That happens pretty quickly, honestly. I just usually don't have people go out of their way to massage it. Um, I always tell them, you're going to look a little shelf like on the side here from swelling. Don't press it down. I don't, mm -hmm. just because, you know, mm -hmm. you won't have as nice a lift if you change the shape. Mm -hmm. created. Mm -hmm. so, so don't try and redo your work. How are you doing, Mandy? I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You appreciate. have a little scarring here. Yeah. So I'm just trying to kind of get past that. Mm -hmm. Breathe. <laughs> Where's that bunny? Hmm. Do you see why Groupon is not acceptable? Ooh, yeah. Can you imagine? I mean, seriously. I don't think I've ever seen a vampire face lift on Groupon. <laughs> well, I, I have to admit, I was actually looking on Groupon for the laser hair removal treatments. Do you do that here? Yeah. See, you I know, told you I did that here. For a procedure like that, you know, obviously you want to go to an experienced center, but laser hair removal it's not a high cost of disposable procedure, okay? They've already purchased the machine. They have a lease payment. They mm -hmm. need to make a certain number of, mm -hmm. you know, treatments. But other than that, it doesn't cost them to do the treatment. Mm -hmm. the thing about, I mean, you have to understand how Groupon works. We're really bashing Groupon here. But Groupon has you set the price of your service at least 50% lower than your usual. And then Groupon takes 50% of that. So you're basically performing your service for a quarter at best mm -hmm. of what you normally would get. Mm -hmm. uh, which is fine, except then they advertise filler on Groupon for prices lower than what it costs me to buy it. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. So I say to people that something's wrong with the math, okay? So mm -hmm. Botox mm -hmm. too, they'll say, oh, you know, Groupon, $5 a unit. Really? You can mm -hmm. barely, you, you can't buy it for that. So what are they mm -hmm. doing? Mm. You gotta ask yourself if it sounds too, you know, if it's too good to be true. Mm -hmm. it probably is, mm -hmm. you know? So, and I don't want, yeah. yeah, you're not gonna get what you think you're gonna get. 
Right. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm not looking to bash group. I have a, I love Groupon. I do. Yeah, I, I, I love Groupon. I like to use it so my grandchildren and I play a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, for for food, for enter, you know certain entertainments, but that's the perfect use. Not when it comes to your personal well being in any stretch of the means. Mm-hmm. None. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it feels like my face weighs a little bit more. That's um, heaviness. Is the lidocaine effect? Yeah. It's because you're numb and you're interpreting that as weak, but it's not. Right. Okay. Now we're going to do some play. Mm-hmm. They are the same, except you're probably a little numb in there now. How are we doing? Good. Okay. Can one have sex after this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. As long as they don't pinch your cheeks. So, what's this first speaking engagement um, in December? On um, December 2nd. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. It's a gala event in Boston. And I'm just so thrilled that they have asked me to. Uh, really participate and help them enjoy their evening. Mm-hmm. You know, my topic, of course, is happiness. And That is strange. Mm-hmm. Are my grandchildren going to recognize me? <laughs> <laughs> is what we coming to Thanksgiving? Probably get your most you honest feedback pressure, from them. Huh? Yes. You'll get your most honest feedback from the grandchildren. Yeah. They're very I'm observant. I'm going to see the four year old. <laughs> Who are you? I don't know. Brianna's. <laughs> She's pretty <laughs> observant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there. So when the note became the numbness wears off, what is there? What's to expect? Nothing. I mean, you might be a little sore to touch in certain spots, but nothing crazy. So this is what it feels like to be in Hollywood, huh? (laughs) (laughs) You're famous. Huh? You're famous. All right. So. We're moving down. Uh, I'm going to. Oops. I'm going to change your position a little bit for me. No, I need a little bit farther. Oops. Is your neck okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Where do you want me to stand? You're fine. I just want to get a clean set of gloves. Okay. okay. Change them a few times. Should be clear that the numb 
for you numb there. I think you should be yeah. numb. Did you stick me? Okay. <laughs> um, how much filler is used with a vampire face lift mm -hmm. is going to vary. Mm -hmm. um, and that obviously affects the cost. A lot of times mm -hmm. it's just one syringe, but where you have never done mm -hmm. you know, any filler, one was not going to cut it. Mm -hmm. So what does this procedure cost? Usually, the vampire facelift, if it's just one syringe of filler, is around twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. so the hole is so small; sometimes you can have trouble with the tiny little feet. All right. Sorry, did we even answer that question? Twelve hundred is like a basic, mm -hmm. you know, if you're doing just one syringe. varies obviously. Mm -hmm. Really, you know, in addition to the filler and the TRP kit, mm -hmm. the better ones are, mm -hmm. are more expensive. Of course we use the best, right? Um, you're also paying for the work mm -hmm. of, of filming this for the show mm -hmm. uh, next week okay. there's some scar tissue here I'm just going to try mm -hmm. to break it up a little bit okay so we'll just... that's another nice thing about the cannula is I can mm -hmm. while I'm in there scrape around a little bit mm -hmm. and I'll break up some of the scar Hmm. You might you're probably feeling a little pinchy something, but not much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, this way. So that needle bends? Yeah, it's it's um you know it it looks like it would be uh, very stiff, but it's actually quite mm -hmm. flexible. Hmm. Sometimes I'm doing filler for that specifically mm -hmm. for acne mm -hmm. scarring. So. See the needle oh, under the skin. Yeah. yeah. Break it out. Huh. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Okay. And to the extent that that looks, you know, better, great. You can mm -hmm. always work on it with the next syringe and mm -hmm. the next syringe. I mean, you don't necessarily accomplish everything. With your first injection, but we're gonna cook him a lot up, that's for sure. We're getting a lot done. You needed a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> well she's not denying it. <laughs> Holy McGill <laughs>
It's the other reason why I like you. You're honest. <laughs> on the skin. Um, again, these holes close up so quick. I do that we do it. So I can land with the cannula right where I want to be. You can probably see where I am right there, where that scar tissue is. I think I opened up and put some plasma there. Hmm. Okay, now I'm ready to watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put some mold now. Make sure it's nice and smooth. You may feel bumpiness, mm -hmm. um, but it's not gonna be filler bumpiness, just swelling, mm -hmm. and it will go away completely. Okay. All right, so now I can see that side kind of puffy, and swollen. And that side. Is Yeah, this is wired. <laughs> huh. That gets pretty exciting. It is exciting, huh? Yeah. We were just talking about this a few weeks ago. We needed to see yeah. that. Yeah. Oops, I'm enough. going the other side. Yeah. Yes, this area I have to work from the opposite side. <laughs> what a good looking guy, goes. <laughs> I'm going to have you slide over just a couple inches so you're not closer to me. Opened up one of those new ones today, first time. Once again, you should be numb here. Would you ask them for one more rest? Mm -hmm. So you can see where I am. Now this area down under where I'm working, we call this the marionette region. This can stay a little puffy. Mm -hmm. Even tomorrow, so you might feel like it's a little full, mm -hmm. like you're storing a nut, <laughs> <laughs> but it won't stay that way. Mm -hmm. Some areas of the face hold swelling a little longer than others. Mm -hmm. Plus, because I broke up the scar tissue, mm -hmm. too. so mm -hmm. this swelling in the cheek region is going to go right mm -hmm. down, you'll miss it. Mm -hmm. This swelling will hang around because I created mm -hmm. more tissue trauma, but for good cause. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what we're doing today could also be termed a liquid facelift. 
<laughs> liquid facelift. Do some people call it that? that? Yeah. Usually anything over it, four syringes or more of filler. We usually use that term, liquid facelift, because you're you're truly restoring all of hmm. the lost volume. You're not just doing a basic mm -hmm. filler injection, you're actually lifting. Hmm. scar tissue here. Scar tissue. That's why you're feeling it. Feel that resistance. Mm -hmm. okay. Somebody was doing this today, and they're like, "You want to watch that?" I'm like, "Yeah." Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think this is amazing, amazing technology. Mm -hmm. Starting over. Hmm. Why is it important not to put too much there? That seems like where most people would most want people, like right. excess if there. You just backfill there and you don't correct the volume loss in the cheeks. Uh -huh. When you're done with the filler, it looks like you have a monkey oh, mouth. Oh, ah, see that. So that's a pretty big knuckle of a muscle, don't you? Huh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's New York that's, there. Yeah, Do it again. Yeah, that's, it's, it's, <laughs> that's intense. All right. So <laughs> the issue, though, is that the more active that muscle is, the deeper that line is getting, and then you're getting these ones going yeah. across. So, you know, we want you to look a little more what's, refreshed. Why would you put that, that right there? It's like... That's probably an expression line. That's too. just wrong. <laughs> we, that's wrong. <laughs> so we, we don't want to freeze you. You have a very expressive face, but it would be nice to soften things a little yes. bit. Yes. You know, just get up. I never want to look like a mannequin. Yeah. That we can't do. Look straight ahead. Yeah. I'm just gonna play with your face. Don't mind me. Face ages in a number of ways. We lose some bone volume that you can't do anything about. Um, we lose our mid cheek volume here, mm -hmm. so you start to see the separation. Mm -hmm. um, we call it the malar crease or shelf. Or, so things above it tend to stay up like this, mm -hmm. and what's below it tends to go to gravity. Mm -hmm. So the goal of the injection today is going to be to restore the volume we've lost to keep it looking very natural. Mm -hmm. Again, you're going to leave here today looking more full. Mm -hmm. because of the volume of the plate rich plasma, but the water of that will go away, the growth factors stay right with them, and that'll work over the course of four to six weeks, you know, so you're going to get tissue growth. So you'll probably get longer out of your filler injection mm -hmm. because of the plate rich plasma going in at the same time. Huh. Okay. So we're going to put some in the mid face to get you cheek volume back, so it might look you know, a little more lifted. Mm -hmm. That's going to pull up from here, too. Mm -hmm. Anything, any volume I pull put in here mm -hmm. is actually going to tack this up a little bit. Hmm. And then I'll be going in here for your folds. We'll 
get at that lip line there. And then I'll be smoothing this jawline mm -hmm. out for you. Hmm. Um, do you like your lips? Do you like the size of your lips? <laughs> <laughs> I always say they could be a little bit more puffier, but I don't want them like, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> That won't, no, it's natural. So if we have a little extra, we could maybe, you know, play with, yeah. because the, the top lip tends to thin the most yeah. with age, mm -hmm. so we might just get that, get yeah. a little bit of volume in there without... I still want to look like crazy. me. Yeah. You look like you seven years ago. That would be the goal. That would be nice. That would be... Okay, that'd be the goal. Wake me up. And then at the end, I'll do the dice board. Um, that's going to take three to seven days to kick in. Mm -hmm. But the dice board will give you a little brow lift. It'll soften the crow's feet. Mm -hmm. um, it'll relax this muscle so that when this muscle, which pulls down, mm -hmm. relaxes, you actually get a little lift. Your eyes mm -hmm. are more alert, more wide open. You look more rested, awake. So you mm -hmm. do that. Probably put a little bit in the forehead to soften um, the line, but not freeze you. Mm -hmm. and, then, uh, right. and then we'll see it after all it's right. all settled. So. Mm -hmm. Very cool. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Do you yeah. want to go live or are you okay with taping? Oh, what would care. you like to do? Do you want to that's do live? That's up to you. It doesn't matter to me. Will it, will it save if you do it well, live? Well, that's, that's what I'm... No, we'll go ahead and we'll take, take it. And then, yeah, and then I'll post it. video on YouTube of this woman. I don't remember the name, and I don't honestly know if she was in the U.S. or not, but she was telling all of her viewers, look, you can do this filler thing yourself at home. Mm. Yeah. And she was doing it on camera, oh injecting God. where I am right now mm. on her own face oh and saying, see, see how easy it is. See, see how uh, easy uh, it is. Uh. You can do this. Yada, yada. She looked awful because mm -hmm. she'd been sticking it all there. Mm. She needed it in her cheek. She didn't have it in her cheek. She looked like a freak. Mm. And I'm like, are you seriously mm. telling me you are injecting your own face? I mean, really. It's very scary what people do. It's scary what people throw on on YouTube. Yeah. No. You do not try this at home. This is not something that you want to experiment with. You'll cry. You'll be devastated. Your whole life will change. You want to be happy. If you want to be happy, you go to the obvious experts. Okay, you guys? <laughs> All right. Do the side of the lip ball here. Yeah. Put that on there. That's going? Mm-hmm. Good. Just That's why I bring multiples. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I just hope I had noticed that right away. Like... I hope I was really taping when I thought I was taping. That would be horrible. I was so intent. <laughs> I'll tell you. This is not the time when we want to say, oh, no. Well. Ooh, well. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. You do your thing, I'll do mine. <laughs> Just gonna put a little platelet rich plasma in the same spot. No, you did great. No, you did great. I just looked at the minutes. <laughs> it would be terrible to get fired when you're just an apprentice. <laughs> No, you got everything. The editing of this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. You know me, I don't edit. Mm -hmm. I don't like to. Mm -hmm. I'm real and raw. Kind of a long... Trying to see where that needle is. All right. Okay. I'm 
Thanks, Lindy. I'm just going to go into that. Could you just... Um, huh? I just can't see. Yeah. Sorry. And that's, <laughs> that's a problem for me. If I can't see... Yeah. Yeah. Please speak up. No filler. <laughs> I can't see. No filler by Braille. All right. Okay. So I'm just undermining those little... Call them barcode lines. You might feel a little pinchy here. Barcode. I know. Not nice. It's not a little term for them. Barcode line. I'm laughing inside. <laughs> you didn't know just you saying. <laughs> you didn't know you had a barcode, right? <laughs> no. Just saying. Laughing. Ah! <laughs> So is that still the barcode line you're working on? Right now the, the border of the lip. Yeah. Border of the lip. Just adding a little, little bit. Mm -hmm. We can do more lip another day, but I just want to address at least enough for the lines. Pop that lip up and then, you know, a lot of, with a lot of people I'll work on the border of the lip to start and then mm -hmm. they'll come back and, you know, a week or two and then add volume. Mm. But if I get rid, if I recreate that vermilion border, it makes the lines that much better. Mm -hmm. Just a little more. So this really isn't, you know, it's a little bit of lip filler, but it's more about fixing the lines above and the ones that cross over that border. And then the next syringe can. Vavoom! <laughs> Vavoom! <laughs> Okay, All right. we have 20% battery remaining. Okay. Hmm. I can't see a difference in the two sides. Mm -hmm. All right, this is going to be a little pinchy. Okay, now that should be better right now. How's that? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Still laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Relax your muscles for me. And you're going to feel a little pinchy as I come over. And then once I get a little bit in there, it gets numb. Okay, good. Oh, there's one more line. Closer. All right, that's it. I know, easier for me to say. Where's that rabbit? Oh, yeah. On your side. <laughs> In that border, that could be a little pinchy. Pinchy, she says, right? That's what you think. Okay, I turned this way. Good. Perfect. Okay. Good. 
You do so great. the lips are one of the most sensitive mm -hmm. areas then. Mm -hmm. anyway. It makes your nose run. Hmm. I'm not crying. Do men ever do this? <laughs> yeah, well, only occasionally the lips, but <laughs> um, more often the cheeks or the nasolabial folds. Weird. Mm. Hmm. Get a little platelet rich plasma in here, a little more fill around the side, and your session for today will be done. Most people have a side you go a little scar tissue there. Most people have a side they're most sensitive, more sensitive on. Mm -hmm. That's that so side for you. It's the left. And why little is sting that? from the. Yeah, that's just how it's we're like wired. Being right handed or left handed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the PRP. It stings, but that'll go away in just a second. You just feel the sting of the growth factors. Take a break. Really? Not crying. <laughs> Laughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. I mean, we're, this is a lot of work. This is a lot to, you know, for someone. <laughs> no, I mean, for you. I mean, for someone who's never done filler. <sighs> Having all of this done at once is not... So you know, most people would break this into several sections, sessions? No, I mean, the, you know, the, the lift is the lift. Okay. And, you know, you kind of just get it done. But, okay. but, yeah, a lot of times someone will just do a couple syringes. They'll wait a few months. They'll do a couple mm -hmm. more syringes. <sighs> hmm. Oh, thanks, Ma. <laughs> Tears of laughter. It is. Finish this side. Oh, yeah. Might be a good doctor's assistant. Yeah. It's, it's more common for someone who's never had filler, that's going to make them choose that, um, to do just a syringe or two to start because they're mm -hmm. just, you know, they're not sure, they're nervous about it. And then they'll come back and do the bigger one. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Lindy decided to take one for the team. I so. did. <laughs> I need to get you exposed. You're too fabulous not to. I believe in good karma. Mm -hmm. At least I hope. Okay. So that would be my suggestion is, you know, depending on your schedule, whenever, anytime beyond two weeks, you could come back, we can touch up. Right. Maybe do a little more lip, maybe not, really depends on, you know, 
your your interest or maybe the next time we work a little bit on this you know right your, i'm going to put some platelet rich plasma in that cuz uh -huh. we've got plenty um you know but get you even a little more smoothness there we go this is just your plasma now it's going to sting a little bit All right, let me see where we want to put the rest of this plasma. You get red pretty easy, huh? Do I? <laughs> yeah. I get red easy. Let's get up. Should I get up? So, how how do you pronounce your last name? Vuich. Lisa Vuich. Lisa Vuich. Boy, did I catch. I always watch your name, huh? Mm -hmm. A lot of people just say Dr. Lisa because they don't want to. Oh, you see? Right. Dr. Dr. Lisa. Well, that's why I asked. Cause... Well, guys, I have to tell you that uh, now that the experience is, is complete, right? The procedure is complete. It was absolutely one of the most incredible experiences that I've ever felt going through any kind of a procedure that I was very scared about. Mm -hmm. And uh, within the next, what, 24 to 48 hours, mm -hmm. we will be keeping an eye on the transformation. But um, I'm very excited. I'm very happy. Excellent. Yeah. Want to take a peek? I do. Okay. We're going to take a first peek. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow. Huh? So this is swelling. Right. This is all going to go down. Mm -hmm. You won't be that full there. That's right. swelling. I did a lot of breaking up scar mm -hmm. tissue in there, so just give that time. But ultimately, oh my gosh. ultimately, you might want a little more. I do a little more cheek, a little more right. lift, a little more lift. Mm -hmm. But that's all. I mean, we did enough. We did a lot, huh? <laughs> we did a lot. And you can definitely wow. do all kinds of icing around mm -hmm. here. That's no problem. Just leave the cheek on. Okay. 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 You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Okay. Here we go. And now we're going to start watching the healing process, right? Cool. <laughs> This will be fun to edit today. No. So again, this effect is an instant. It does kick in pretty quickly. So usually within three days, you're seeing the effect. All right. So scrunch this muscle down in there. Okay, relax. Raise your brows and relax. Keep it pretty light on your forehead. You can always add more. You can't suck it out. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> So Too has old. anybody ever done it themselves and put in too much and come in here and ask you to suck it out? Oh, that's weird. I um, what do you mean, Botox or filler? Either one, whatever people yeah, put in I mean, too much of. Yeah, sometimes people have a bad. You know, they need you to rescue it's them and repair job them, and it's a it's a corrective. I mean, you can't always yeah. really fix it, but I can usually do something to mask it till whatever wears off. Uh -huh. Do you do things like permanent lip liner and that mm -hmm. kind of thing? Yeah, not me personally, but I have a permanent makeup artist, yeah. Oh. See? Tell you we found the right place. Ah. Those are the little dots. That <laughs> <laughs> just helps keep me even. You know. Again, the marks are just uh, a visual aid. This is your product now, isn't it? 
the last one was too. Yeah. He's adorable. Don't don't even show him because he doesn't oh. want any tape. But he's yeah. funny. And he's some. silent funny. <laughs> All right, so you'll feel a little pinch and sting wherever I go. It's generally no big deal. All right. The first couple are really to get you a little brow lift, okay? Pinch. Um, you're like, where's that numbing stuff? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that wouldn't hurt any less. So those are going to pick that tail of the brow up. Is that bunny? And then the ice blocks. Oh, we can move on. Yep. Okay. You're doing great. It's <laughs> got <laughs> a little bite, right? A little bite. <laughs> Has to hurt a little, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So no size. pain, no gain. She said switch sides, so I switched my pants. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my God. That's funny. You can't make this shit up. Um, and this too, once it's kicked in, if you have any questions, mm -hmm. if you're not sure, one side looks a little high, one, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. I just need to see it. Because what we're doing, just sort of run it, sorry, I'll shut up for a second. These are middle of the road doses, mm -hmm. so sometimes someone needs a little more. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> no pain, no gain. That's right. <laughs> no group on. <laughs> well, that might be more pain. Possibly. Mm. A lot of times people will say to me, like you did, that they're mm -hmm. very nervous and they're afraid it's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. And I used to have a saying I would use. <laughs> Which was, listen, the dentist does worse to you than I'm about to do. Oh. Mm. Right? It's true. Except, one day the woman in the chair looked <laughs> up at me and she goes, I am a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was so burned. Oh, I was shoot. so burned. And you're definitely not going to go sit There's in her no, chair. No. There, I never saw her again. There's no recovering from that. Oh, that's so There's funny. no recovering. <laughs> so I stopped saying that. <laughs> Okay. Eyes are done. Um, you are almost done. This boy right here. Pinch here. Right between the eyes. Right between the eyes. Ooh. No pun intended. <laughs> Should I switch again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> There's a reason I am the chief happiness officer. What questions do I get? Can I have a drink now? <laughs> <laughs> do you serve martini? Mm -hmm. oh, no. <laughs> To go out for a French martini after this. Mm -hmm. 
So once this kicks in, you'll still be able to move your muscle, okay? It's not muscle paralysis, it's a relaxation, okay? Mm -hmm. But you shouldn't be able to make that big knuckle, okay? Mm -hmm. If you can, back for more needles. You mean make the big knuckle? Wow. Right huh. now, she has full movement. If, she, if I say look mad, oh, she, can. she can do that. Right, okay. Yeah, that's that's what we want to get rid of. I uh, just want to soften that muscle, weaken it a little bit. Give me one more minute, Wendy. I'm going to troop her. Huh? Huh? <laughs> like I said, it's a lot for one day. You're uh, doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> I know if the late John Rivers could do a facial live, right? Mm -hmm. Take, then that's what I wanted to do for you. <laughs> mm, this look easy. I always like to go light on the forehead to start. Okay, needle's done. Needle's done! Needle's done! Because <laughs> I think that's the part, at least in terms of Botox, that is the hardest for someone to get used to mm -hmm. when the forehead feels mm -hmm. more calm. It's mm -hmm. just gonna, sometimes people can feel like it, it feels stiff or it feels heavier. It feels a little numb. It's mm -hmm. not numb. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, just a sensation. So I go super light there and then mm -hmm. we work from the start here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, this was intense. Oh. Have you seen it since we started? Those are yours. <laughs> I got two tatas. <laughs> <laughs> How exciting. We did good? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Great. Who's done it? I've done the complete, which is not normal for people to go into the intense, what I did, right? Yeah, for, again, for you, we did more filler right. than is commonly done mm -hmm. with the vampire facelift. It's usually okay. less, but you, but you didn't have anything, you know, to start with. So right. rather than do this twice, I figured well, let's just. Get it done. Get it done. Get a good amount in there. Now we might do, like I said, one more syringe or so. Because right. it's, it's really one rule of thumb we use is a syringe per decade. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's very easy to wind up doing five and even six syringes before you get full. Oh, wow. um, but, you know, in the cheeks especially, you can often do a syringe and a half or two syringes mm -hmm. per cheek just to get the lift and the volume back. But I don't like to do that all at once because I don't want to take someone who's got pretty flat in cheeks, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden make them look super right. full because right. you're not used to seeing that. So I like to keep this kind of tame. Mm -hmm. And then for you, again, we did a lot of work in the scarring, you know, right. those there, those irregularities. So that should smooth out over the course of two weeks. So a good time to look at this is like in three weeks. Excellent. Three weeks, okay. four weeks, look at it, tweak it, a little more cheek volume, maybe a little more lip, you know, mm -hmm. bordering. Right. You know, even things out there. And um, then you're done. Then you're probably not doing filler again for six or eight months. Well, just in time for me to come back. That's right. <laughs> so this is after with swelling. I'm watching this always. So we just leave this in the chart. Oh, that yeah, let's see the before. Let's see the side. Sure. Yeah, let's see. This is the scary Again, this one. is not the after. This is right. the swollen. But, right. But you can see where the volume is going to end up. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So a lot of work. Wow, well, yeah. We a lot of work in here. Mm-hmm. All right, that's why you're so puffy there. Mm-hmm. This is, you know, we had to break that up a um, little bit in there, but you know, more more about mm-hmm. the cheek. And then when that muscle relaxes, then that's going to be nice too when that gets a little right. smoother. Um, but like I said, we may ultimately do mm-hmm. a little more cheek. So that's like a dark one. Wow. So the difference here. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Black versus white. Yep. Okay. Wow. All right. Tense. Huh. Well, it is a few hours after my vampire, my vampire facelift. And just like if I went to the dentist, that Novocaine feeling that that's wearing off. And because of the heavy procedure that we did today, just like you heard Dr. Lisa share with you. Um, well, I still have a lot of swelling going on. See, like this side was as swollen as this side. So I'm seeing that the swelling is going down. However, this is what we look like after a very full procedure and more of the vampire facelift. And I wanted to share that with you because we're being transparent and showing you step by step, right? My experience. My experience has been nothing more than joyful. And I say that because Dr. Lisa not only made sure that I understood everything that was going on everything every step of the way, but she numbed me enough to where I didn't even feel 90% of the needles going into my, into my face or the injections. So kudos. 10%? Yes, of course I did. But it was nothing. Nothing like if I had to go get a real facelift where they were going to cut me open. You see? All, you know, the, my choice was the vampire facelift. So with that being said, this is only a few hours afterwards. I promise to keep you all in tune. And... We will be checking back periodically. She said within 48 to 72 hours, you know, give myself enough time to heal and everything. It's been through a lot. Then I'm going to look kind of uh, younger. So here we go, guys. Dr. Lisa Belouche is amazing, professional. I trust her with all my heart. If you don't live in New Hampshire, it is worth your travels to go to Wyndham, New Hampshire for this procedure. For this procedure, go to the best of the best, and that's Dr. Lisa Volush, V-U-I-C-H, Wyndham, New Hampshire. Do you see that? The swelling is going down. I'm starting to look like me again, but you know what? More awake. I really am. I mean, look at my eyes. They're open, and they're, they're really, oh my goodness, this is so exciting. So... I'm happy so far with my results, 53 hours later. Oh. Here we are, guys. Day three, still swollen, still swollen. You want a close-up? Yes, you are. Huh. Yep. I am, I'm really, I'm very happy with the process. Huh. It does look amazing, doesn't it? Yep, and it's just looking better and better and better. So the healing process is happening. I'm pretty excited about it. And hey there, you. I don't think that I did my day eight vampire facelift update recovery process. Here it is, day eight. Huh, looking more like me, right? So for all of you that are curious, how's Lindy doing? It's day eight. Guys, pretty nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Day eight. Day eight. Dr. Lisa Vu Itch, Wyndham, New Hampshire, is your gal.